In this video, I'll show you how to redirect customers after checkout in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. For example, when we place an order, instead of seeing the default WooCommerce thank you page, here we're sending them over to this custom thank you page here, where we can add and remove different elements from this particular page. For example, if you wanted to add a video here with your team giving virtual high fives, you can do so. If you wanted to add a post purchase survey, or maybe just some educational content around the product that your customers just purchased, then you can do so, okay? So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one at checkout by AOVUP, the next step is to go ahead and upload and install the plugin. So we've got plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. So we just make sure we enable the free and the pro version of this particular plugin. And we'll navigate over to AIO checkout here. And then we'll go ahead and create our custom page in which we want to redirect customers to after they've made a purchase. So let's click create new checkout. Okay, we'll navigate over to design. Okay, and we can customize our thank you page design as well. I'm going to select this one here. But what we're really interested in is this tab here where it says thank you page. And then we can go ahead and click build from scratch. As I said here, we can create a custom page to redirect customers to, and you can customize it using any particular page builder. So for example, I'm just gonna be using Gutenberg, but if you use an Element or a Divi, you can just go ahead and customize your thank you page, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly build this out. So again, you'll probably take a bit more time and create something which makes sense to your users. So to add our customers information, such as their billing and shipping information that they entered in, we just need to go ahead and add some specific short codes to our page. So we'll head over to the AOV Open blog, and then I'll go ahead and copy the short code from this particular post here. So I'll leave a link in the description below to this particular post, and then we can just copy over these short codes here, okay? Okay, so we've got the order ID, we've got the date, the customer's email address, the order total, payment details, billing address, and so on, okay? So here we can say, so we'll hit publish. And um, before we do anything else, we should um, set a screenshot. So it's not mandatory, it's optional, but it just makes sense. So remember what this particular thank you page is, okay? So I'm just gonna set a generic screenshot like this one. Let's update again. And then let's head back over to our checkout page. Okay, so now we can go ahead and select this custom page in which we just selected. So whenever a customer purchases something, we'll take them over to this page here. So let's navigate over to settings. Let's enable this checkout, set it as our global checkout, and then we'll just hit save changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a test purchase. And this particular checkout page is powered by the all-in-one at checkout plugin as well. So you'll be able to create a similar design on your particular store. So let's purchase. Okay, and then here we've got our custom thank you page. As I said, in your case, you'll probably take a bit more time to craft out a meaningful page, right? Maybe you wanna add a post checkout survey and so on, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.